Hey guys, Fizzy again. Um, this time I want to talk about something that's not really well known yet. Uh, I've mentioned it in a few places, but I haven't really made an announcement about it. Um, I'm going to be testing the Wii U's v Wii mode um, for lag. So, right now I have my Wii booted up. Um, the same setup that I have in my other video where I just do a quick uh, demonstration of how the lag tester works. Um, so, I have the Wii. Uh, the sewell and plugged into the monitor. Um, right now the audio output um, I'm getting directly from the sewell device so um, for these tests to be accurate you really want to uh, access the audio immediately or you, you want to get the audio as soon as possible so if you can get it right from the output that's the ideal. Unfortunately with the Wii U I can't get it directly from the output so I'm gonna do something to find out how much the lag test changes if I use my monitor's audio out instead of the Sewell device's audio out. So, um, in my old video when I did a test of the center line, it was about 12.1. So let's see if I get something similar here. 11.8. So there is some variation uh, from time to time. So, but that was you know 12.07. So pretty much you know it's pretty close. Now I'm going to plug the audio here to the output of this guy. So that's the output. Okay. And then in order for this to work, I have to actually turn the volume up. Uh, so I can turn the volume up. And I'm going to do the test again. If the test shows up as being as having less lag, it means that the audio is delayed somewhat uh, by me putting it in the back of the monitor instead. So let's see if that gives us anything. 10.87. So I'll just do another one. Yeah, 10.82. So. That's about one millisecond. So whatever measurement we get for the Wii U v Wii, um, we want to add one millisecond approximately to it, 1.3, I guess. Um, so anyway, I'm going to boot up my Wii U now. Oh, uh, home. Off. Turn that on. Okay, um, the first thing I'm going to do on, before I do this test is I'm going to um, put my Wii U in 480p mode, um, if I can remember how to do that, <laughs> I never use this thing, oh jeez, okay, uh, settings, Um, I'm doing this because um, when you go in VWE mode, the display looks kind of weird if you don't put it in 480p mode in here. Um, TV? Nope, not TV remote. TV. Uh, yes. My television is on. Come on. TV resolution, uh, 480p. Okay. Good. Check TV screen. Okay, great. It's in 4.3, just like you would want if you were playing Melee or PM. Uh, well, PM you could play in widescreen, actually. But, uh... Do the test. The test is applicable for both. Okay. Now, uh, I'm gonna boot up VWE mode. Hopefully. Man, you guys can't see that monitor like at all. <laughs> Makes it a little less interesting. Um, we, we menu. Okay. 
use the Wii Remote to select. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So this is um, same thing as I would do on a Wii. I have the homebrew channel on here with the lag test application. Um, right here. I'm going to load that. Okay. Good. And then I'm going to make sure the volume's up. Just because this thing resets your volume when the video reloads, the display refreshes. Okay. So now that I have volume, I should be able to test. So remember, we were getting 10.83 with the previous one, or 10.82 I have on here right now. So if I do another one, twenty-seven point three three. So clearly, um, much more laggy than using the Sewell. Uh, Wii method um, by geez 15 16 16 milliseconds that's actually more than I thought yeah, let's let's do another test twenty seven point six six yeah it's it's like a frame lag more than using the Sewell, looks like. So, that's uh, not great. So if you're gonna be playing Melee or PM on the Wii U this way, um, it, it's not really the best. Anyways, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.